it was a Saturday morning, let me see, the 10th of October. There was a good bit of work to be done on the farm. So my son decided he'd stay home to help me. We were probably getting cattle, wainlands ready for weaning and we were doing dosing. And that morning I put on a pair of overalls and a pair of steel toe cap safety weltons. But during the day, my knee started coming out through the waterproof section on the overalls. So at dinner time, with frustration, I cut the overalls off and I left a tail just hanging on the waterproof section. We were finished early, so then I decided it was a nice fine evening. We'd pull the diet feeder out, see what changes had to be done for the coming season. We hooked up the drive shaft, the pipes, then I got up and I proceeded to turn on the PTO, see if the machine was running. At that stage, I heard a knock in the back of the machine. Uh, then I said I'd leave the tractor just ticking over, I'd hop down and we'd uh, investigate the knock. Now, just before we hopped down, there was these pipes were in, in reverse. So I just caught them basically with the one hand and just moved them around, changed them and turned them around. Once I did this, I noticed once I had the pipes hooked up, when I went to stand back, I was caught. I was entangled in the power shaft. Now there was no cover on the shaft. And basically with the tail piece that was left on the overalls, it just wrapped around the shaft, stripped it. And at that stage, the leg was amputated. Now within seconds, I was thrown over out through this area here. And my right arm hit this bar and broke the bone in the two arms and I was left lying on the ground. Plus until I was on the ground, I knew the arm was broke because I went to try to lift myself up to pull myself away from the machine. In the yard, uh, I seen Peter on the ground. My initial response thought actually was that he was dead. He was white, very, I could see there was a leg gone from the distance. There was a lot of bone exposed. The ankle was, the leg was, the foot was rather hanging off on his other leg. So that was the leg that was pretty difficult. Because the leg is in it for a few hours at this stage, it just has to be eased out of the socket. And then comes out, that's it. This muscle would have been stripped and the, and the accident right down to the bone and also it just dislocated and shattered some of the bones down in this area, down here. Took the muscle out of the top section of the leg and attached it just right here. I used to like my independence but now I'm totally reliant on my wife and the kids, more so than ever. Simple things above on the farm, changing cattle around and that, I need help at it. I just can't go out and do it on my own. So you just have to learn to cope that, and accept that you need help, and that's it. You know, a lot of farmers look at doing the same thing day in, day out, and it just becomes routine to them. Whereas if they have, you know, fresh eyes in, just looking, and they're able to pick out different aspects of what can be done on the farm. I know that after my accident, it was only then that local garages started to sell PTO shafts and covers. A lot more farmers, three different garages, four actually, were actually sold out of covers, couldn't keep them in stock. Because of the local lads that knew me, and uh, they all knew my story and heard my story. I'm hoping the other farmers will see it and see how easy an accident can happen and maybe hopefully they'll see how important a PTO cover is on the drive shaft. That at least they will go take the opportunity to put that proper cover on the, the shaft. You don't know what's going to happen. Like as soon as you go out the door there in the morning, you just don't know what's going to happen. Anything can happen, you know, so.